Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. All right, I'm kind of making this video for my um, Gladiator Brothers. And what I mean by Gladiator Brothers, I mean those of y'all who are on the planet now, who represented the greatest physical specimens on the planet. Just like back in the day when Caesar used you, us, the people, it's usually black folk, a lot. To say up or down to the gladiators that came into his ring, right? It's important that you all, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, understand that you got a greater second chance right now. And you have to seize the moment. Y'all let that moment get away from you when Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick, um, when, 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 when he took a knee. But more than that, when Donald Sterling did all that crazy, racist conversation and knowing that he's not the only owner that feels that way about his so-called players, his, in another word, in another language, slaves, um... You have to realize that Kaepernick is in the line of Muhammad Ali now. The ultimate sacrifice is what those guys did. And so now we got a situation where in the NBA, the guys want to come back. Some of them don't. Kyrie has got a movement where he's saying, wait a minute. Let's seize the moment. Though there's a lot of social ills going on out there. Then you got somebody like Doc Rivers' son who's saying something like, well, we can do them both. And Shannon Sharp, and I'm sure there's a lot of others. I just tend to side maybe with Kyrie Irving because he's the one who's willing to give up everything, pretty much. Because in order to affect change, in order for you to make change, you got to be willing to die. And that's what you see out there on the front lines. You see people willing to die. Okay? Not people willing to entertain. People willing to die for freedom. And so you get a sense of you want to run up and down the court and be seen. I mean, no disrespect, because I know this is what LeBron James um, proposes as well. Get down. No. No, Daisy. Um, but the greater picture to me is you have an opportunity because white men specifically, more important, see, live their lives so much vicariously through y'all running up and down the court and entertaining them. So much of their ego and manhood and all, they can't do it. They own so. Okay? But well, they pay y'all checks, right? Think about it. Now y'all, y'all rich now. You've made money. Now I know a lot of y'all haven't made that status, and that's why you really, really want to continue this season. But it's bigger than you. This moment is way bigger than you, baby. Way bigger than you. Because if you did you come out on the other side? You, we all gonna be good, not just you. And we get to watch you run up and down the court and entertain them while people are out on the streets giving their lives in a real fight. So no, we can't do them both. We have to make a commitment to each other, in my opinion. If you want this stuff to stop, it has to be the most important thing for your babies and your grandbabies. And your great grandbabies. 
You got to smell, you got to want freedom that bad. You got to want to see a new world that bad that you say, uh-uh, I'm not going to entertain your ass. None of you corporations, I'm not, I don't care who wants what. Not only the coronavirus, they don't care about that. You don't know enough about it. Now it's the spike, but you're going to go play anyway. I got a, I got an opportunity to do something great. I got to do an opportunity to change history. Right? Because, let me say something. Y'all might say what LeBron said is good and okay. I got you. But let me say this. Colin Kaepernick, Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Y'all might not remember him. Chris Jackson played for LSU along with Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, he played for Denver, I think, too. The little guard. And he wouldn't stand for the national anthem. He he just prayed, and they, they, they couldn't take it. Okay, So he got blackballed. He lost his NBA career. I'm talking about sacrifice. I'm not talking about running up and down the court. I'm talking about make a collective sacrifice. Muhammad Ali, Paul Robeson, John Carlos, and, and brother may have name slipped my mind, but you know, brother, I got, I, I'm, I'm with him. They lifted it. They, they sacrificed. This is about sacrifice, not your ego. And so, I personally will always look at Colin Kaepernick as in the same bloodline as Muhammad Ali and those men I just named because they were the epitome of sacrifice for what they believed and what they didn't, didn't want to live. Some of y'all, in my opinion, are being led by money. And so you're no different than a corporation that's paying. When, what are you willing to sacrifice for us all to be free? And y'all got the Trump card, really. I don't mean that literally, but y'all got the y'all got the y'all got the Trumps. So with that being said. I hope you get what I'm, I'm, I'm saying right here. I'm saying seize the moment because you're so influential. You're so influential. And I think you know that. So don't let it just end like the Clippers walk to the center court and throw their jerseys out in the court. And that's a good gesture because that's all they could have done. So, you know. But to me, they missed the opportunity and a great moment then. But the world wasn't behind them, so I, I, I get it. But the world behind you now. The world is behind you. Seize the moment, brothers. Seize the moment. And Kyrie, much respect. You know what? Mm. Something about those Aries. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next.